winter weather alert. Hey, good morning, everybody. As we look out over Grand Rapids and the tower cam shot, you're fine this morning. No problem. It's what's coming in this afternoon and into the evening, and then we'll continue after that. Here's some bullet points we want to get you up to speed with. Uh, Thursday p.m. through Friday a.m., there is a cold front coming in that's going to deliver about two to four inches of snow uh, area wide with the heaviest north of Grand Rapids. Then Friday, Friday night and into Saturday morning along and west of US 130, we're talking lake effect snow, another three to six inches on top of that and then Friday uh, into that same time frame in a Saturday morning east of US 131. We're talking lake effect snow, but probably only about an inch or two there. We have winter weather advisories for all of lower Michigan for our area. They don't go into effect until 4 p.m. They stay into an effect until 7 p.m. on Friday. There's going to be several inches of snow, as we just mentioned, especially the heaviest along and west of US 131. There's going to be blowing and drifting near whiteout conditions at times in those areas, especially as we get into the overnight hours and tonight and that wind tonight and uh, also tomorrow because that wind is really going to be whipping around and that's going to drag wind chills down to around zero. Again, nothing out there on live Doppler radar right now. Our current temperatures are generally in the 20s, except we've got some clearing here in Ionia. They've dropped to 17 degrees. You can just see the beginnings of the Arctic air on the map there over North Dakota. That's what's going to be moving on in here, but it's going to take some time to get here. It won't get here today. Today's going to be mild with temperatures up into the mid 30s. This is still getting its organizational act together. This is going to continue to expand and then move our way. And I'm thinking probably by about two, three, four o'clock this afternoon, we're going to start to see that snow at the lake shore and that it's going to be uh, moving uh, across the area from west to east. There could be some rain mixed in at the onset of that, but it's going to be mainly snow. And that's where I think the couple of inches comes in through the over uh, through the evening commute and then a couple of more inches through the evening hours and then it transitions to lake effect. 36 degrees today. Again, the front part of the day could even see a little bit of sunshine very early today. Some filtered sunshine, but it'll quickly cloud cloud over breezy that PM snow develops. We'll have a southeast wind today at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's what it looks like in the forecast model. Breezy conditions today, but all of the snow going to see a kind of a burst across the area as we get into the mid to late afternoon hours. That's where I think we see a quick one to two during that evening commute. And then as we go through the rest of the evening, another one to two inches. So total from that system, about two to four inches. Windy conditions ensue behind it. And then there's going to be lake effect and lake enhancement behind it as well. That's where another three to six will come in, especially along and west of US 131 uh, tonight and then into the day tomorrow as well. And these dash black lines, just the trough of low pressure, just these little disturbances and this added lift to just enhance that snow shower activity here. Our forecast model, the GFS model doing a pretty good handle on this, I think. The lightest amounts through Saturday will be east of US 131, probably only about three, four inches out there. But uh, Grand Rapids could be looking at about six, seven inches of snow. And if you get closer to the lakeshore and the lakeshore communities. We're talking probably six to 10 inches total as we get into the day on Saturday with the heaviest up here to the north and west of Grand Rapids. We could be pushing nine, 10 inches up there. Uh, certainly uh, not out of the realm of possibility. I want to look at the wind speeds in Gustin and we'll take this in steps. This is uh, this morning at 9 a.m. This is going to ramp up as we go on through the day. You can see the way the magentas and the reds show up here. Well, southeast winds at about 10 to 20 miles per hour with some higher gusts through the overnight hours. They get even stronger uh, by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. We've got 20 to 30 mile per hour winds uh, sustained with some higher gusts up around 35 to 40. And then as we go through the day on Friday, those are still strong. So there's going to be blowing and drifting out there as well. Let's look at the future feels like temperatures of the wind chills. Uh, I'll get out of the way here. You can look at the time frame here uh, on Friday. That's uh, tomorrow morning. We've got because temperatures are going to be falling. We've got wind chills that are going to be down around zero. And as we go through the day, they're going to be below zero zero probably as we go through Friday. They'll be about zero to 10 degrees below zero. And then Friday night into Saturday morning, we'll see we are below zero. Some of these places out here over the northern plains are going to be about 40 to 45 degrees below zero. And then here Saturday at 6 p.m. We are still below zero. And then as we go Saturday night into Sunday, we're running probably about 10 to 20 degrees below zero. So the point is it's not just us and our air is being modified. It's colder out here because there's no modification of that air mass from Lake Michigan. So all of us in the uh, northern central plains, the Midwest and the Great Lakes are 
going to share in this Arctic outbreak as we go into and through the weekend and it sticks around for a good chunk of next week. So it's not going to go away anytime soon. 36 degrees today, partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies through the first part of the day, but that burst of snow occurs as we get into the mid to late afternoon hours, drops down a quick two to four inches. Then there's another three to six on top of that as we go through our Friday, especially along and west of US 131. The 32 degrees that you see here tomorrow, that's at midnight because the temperature is going to be sitting around 20 degrees by daybreak tomorrow, and then they're only going to go backwards from there and sit into the teens with wind chills below zero. We're only 18 degrees on Saturday with some lingering light snow, breezy conditions there, and then look at the Arctic air only in the teens. And of course, that Arctic air is what's going to continue to fuel the lake effect snow. So I think by the time we get into this time next week, there could be an additional easily foot and a half to two feet on the ground west of US 131. So that's where we're going over the next several days, guys.